Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to install Unification mod for Dawn of War Definitive Edition. The first thing you need to do is to join Unification mod Discord server. Once you've joined the server, click on the channel uh, Frequently Asked Questions. Once you are here, you have to download the files from moddb. One file is the unification mod installer, and the second file is the archive with the files of the mod that the installer uses. Uh, once you open the links, you will be um, ending up on these pages. Uh, here is basically the installer, 60 megabytes. Click on download now and you will download the file on your PC. And this is the archive, it weighs 20 gigs. Uh, note that in other versions, in future versions, uh, the size will be different. This is an example showing version 7.3.7. .7. It is the first version for definitive edition and it might not be the most stable, but we will test it out. So click on download now and you will get this on your uh, PC. Once the files are downloaded, run unification um, installer. On my end it runs as admin by default. Disable the music, click I agree, and here you have to select a path. If you don't have Dawn of War Soulstorm or Definitive Edition installed, please install those. I have both games on Steam, so let's select Definitive Edition. This tells the installer that it must extract the mod files in this folder. Click Next. I don't need Mod man Manager. Click Install. It will take a while to install this, so let's wait. Okay, so after waiting for about one minute, uh, the installation begins. Alright, this is almost done. Okay, completed. So the installation is uh, successful, let's assume. Close it. Alright, I think we're ready. Uh, let's start the game and uh, give it a try, see if the mod works. Yeah, unification mod starts by default. I didn't even run the game after installing the mod. It already shows unification mod at uh, startup. Uh, what we need to do next is check the mods section. And uh, we have here in the list unification definitive edition. Uh, let's um, select uh, this, this one. Next we go to skirmish to test and see if the mod works. Okay, it also installed a bunch of maps for us. Uh, survival maps, plenty of them. Yeah, survival maps are fun, but we're not gonna show that. Let's just test if the mod works and we'll be done with it. Go for the meeting of minds, select necrons. Uh, here we have a, a bunch of options. You might need to check through each of the options um, what you would like to pick selected here. I will untick everything and just leave the default ones. Yeah, VC Annihilate, I believe that would be it. If you guys are not sure on what these settings do, like game rules, just disable them and leave the Annihilate uh, enabled. You can also go on the Unification Discord and ask about each of these, I'm sure those guys will help you out. Here we uh, need to make sure we select the Insane Difficulty, uh, disable resource sharing. Other than that, leave everything as is and start the game, see if the mod works.
Oh boy, it actually allows you to zoom out and see the whole map, uh, this mod by default. So yeah, the mod runs just fine. Uh, this is how you install it, guys. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like or dislike. Uh, leave your feedback below. Subscribe if you're new. We'll do some unification mod Necrons for sure. Bye-bye.